Hi, great that you have chosen our Canoe test package EV or EVSE for CCS conformance testing. Let's get started and set it up. Welcome, my name is Rafael Pfeil. I've been working for many years as an engineer and product manager in the field of electromobility with focus on smart charging. I also contribute on the standardization work for smart charging and support customers as a smart charge coach. Today we will do the basic steps of getting up and running the Canoe Conformance Test Package EV and EVSE. And then we will proceed with using an already existing Canoe configuration with the Test Package EV or EVSE. Let's start. First, we have to select the desired charging standard, in this case CCS. Then select Test Case and Canoe Configuration. Define an Output folder. And then we are ready to generate the test cases and the canoe configuration. Accept this small hint. We accept the disclaimer. And then the test cases and the canoe configuration will be generated and canoe will start it automatically in the background. Inside canoe we import um, the variant profiles and we will find the variant profiles in the installation folder of the test cases itself. Then we go to the shared folder, um, canoe integration, the ISO 5011T8, and then here select the ISO all profiles. Afterwards, we can select a predefined variant profile, for example, the DC profile and then choose a specific test case group. Select for example this one. And then we are ready to start the canoe simulation and uh, start the test case execution. During the test case execution, we get detailed information um, about the charging communication in the trace window and then on the right side in the test trace window we get uh, detailed information about the test case execution itself and below uh, the state tracker um, we will see detailed information about signals and specific variables. After we have executed the test cases we can stop the canoe simulation and then activate a very useful feature the window synchronization. With this feature, we have a time synchronization between the trace window of the charging communication and the test trace window and the state tracker. For example, um, click here on a specific message, the pre-charge request, and then all other windows will be synchronized uh, based on this specific time step. Next, we can see or we can open the test report and look into the details of the um, executed test cases. On the landing page of the test report we get um, overall information about executed test cases and past or uh, failed or inclusive test cases and then we can open the specific uh, the information about the specific test case execution and then we can here scroll through the complete test case execution and get the verdict of every step inside this test cases. After the quick steps of getting started the Canoe test package EV and EVSE, we will move on with using the test package with an existing Canoe configuration. In addition to Canoe, we need also the VTest Studio project, which was generated in the first step. We will find this VTest Studio project in the installation folder. Inside VTest Studio, we have to import the canoe environment and the symbols. Therefore, uh, be sure that only one canoe instance is uh, open and uh, running. Next, we have to adapt the Giant hardware interface. The Giant hardware interface is necessary to control your um, power supply which you use in your test system. Inside this file, you have to do all the adaption to control your specific power supply. 
After this adaption, we are ready to uh, build all test units. Perfect, no errors or warnings occurred. Now we are done in VTest Studio and can switch to Canoe. Um, for the smart charging communication, we have to use the provided XML files and uh, copy paste uh, the files to the Canoe folder of the existing Canoe configuration. And then we have to rename the Ethernet node inside Canoe and rename the naming here that it is the same naming as the XML file is named. Next, we can add uh, the test unit for the ISO 15118 tests. Name it, for example, Smart Charging Communication Conformance Test Package ISO 15118. Then add a test unit. We will find a test unit in the same folder where we have generated in the first step. Then we have to adapt the TCP IP settings. Disable IPv4 and select IPv6 settings. And we have to add an unique IPv6 address. If you like also execute the DIN test cases, um, then you have to uh, execute the previous steps in the DIN uh, tab. And now we are almost done um, and have to double check if an additional smart charging simulation is uh, active. Um, therefore we go to configuration or we have no additional node with smart charging communication DLL here. Uh, which is active, so it looks fine. And then go to test, to test modules, retest system, and that could be that's also that could be also possible that an additional smart charging simulation DLL is active. It is it looks fine. Therefore. Now we are ready to execute the test cases um, and then we will get a test report as we have uh, seen it before in the first part of our tutorial. Now you are prepared and ready for working with the Canoe Conformance Test Package. If you have further questions, please have a quick look on our support website support.vector.com or contact us directly. Thank you very much and goodbye. Of course, there are more videos coming up regarding electromobility, charging communication and conformance test. Don't miss any updates. Therefore, subscribe to our Tech Tutorial channel and continue watching our currently available videos.